Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I will um, show you how uh, to make this latkan that you see here. Actually, I had run a poll a few uh, months back in my community about you know whether you would uh, like to learn this kind of latkan. Now, I don't like to copy exactly, so you know everybody should add their own flavor uh, to the basic you know inspiration image. So this is uh, the design that I thought up uh, of. And um, this is the um, uh, latkan that I will uh, show you today. So let's quickly see that. So first I cut a lot of uh, circles like this, a lot of them, okay. And I just used like this a cello tape roll to mark the outline and uh, cut it okay so you can use anything like you know you can use a bowl or whatever size you want you can do so this is a basic uh, uh, normal uh, size of around uh, <coughs> three and a half inch diameter so i first cut the uh, circles i'm also going to be using this beautiful fabric which i had uh, uh, from another project of mine and the color is actually matching the main lehenga so this is what i'll be using in the latkan as well okay so the first thing is all the circles that we have cut we need to process them so slightly hold the edges near the fire near the flame and it gets nicely locked if you feel some part is remaining you can open up the petal or the flower and do it nicely if you have the heat pen that is also good but if you don't have the heat pen this is a very good option okay so this is uh, one of the pieces right so what i'm just going to do is this is the right side this is the wrong side i am going to stitch this side is already done so i'm just going to stitch uh, the three sides leaving a little bit of space on one side so that i can turn it inside out okay i have already done the blue one right i have stitched it and then i have turned it inside out and see this is a small opening uh, from which i have turned it and here i will be inserting the um, you know fiber so that you know it becomes like a nice uh, cushion kind of a thing okay so uh, i'll stitch this and then i will put the fiber and then uh, we'll proceed so see i have filled it up with this kind of uh, fiber which is available you know these are used in cushions um commercial pillows okay so i have filled it up so it becomes it becomes nice like a small pillow kind of a thing okay next we have to seal it it's very easy to seal this see here i've got needle and thread you take from inside of one side okay and at the same level okay the thread here is starting here right let me cut off these extra threads which are coming from the out of the fabric okay now at the same level it is ending here so here the other side this is the other fabric right other side of the uh, the mouth of the pillow you can say so at the same level here at the same level you start here okay like this okay go like this Here. so entire thing you have to do it this way and once it is done you know, so the stitch is not visible from outside at all it is clean When things are well finished and clean, you can charge the price for that finish itself. That is the difference between boutique clothes and the clothes and the you know finish given by local tailors. The difference between uh, locally done clothes and branded clothes, right here. So I have locked it. So once I have locked it, I'm not going to just cut it off here. 
I put the needle inside take it all the way inside bring it out cut it off here it's nice and secure adjust the fiber so it is neat right exactly same way i'm going to do this i'm going to do this with a, uh, a blue thread now here you see that you know one side is all the corners are pretty sharp this one is not that sharp so for that what you do you can take these uh, seam ripper kind of things okay and then you bring it out like this okay you bring it out like this so the corner see now it is sharp earlier it was blunt now it is sharp if you feel this is also whichever corner is blunt you use the seam ripper point and you bring it out like this okay so it becomes nice and sharp now i'll finish it off here with the blue thread okay so next uh, uh we'll continue with the latkan i'm changing the design a bit this is what i have added on one side so this is very simple and easy to do so i'm doing the same thing on the other side so i have got the uh, thread and needle matching okay you insert the thread like this so that the knot gets you can push the knot inside and it gets hidden okay once you push it inside it gets hidden fine yeah see now what i will do i will take this two beads okay and this one it's nice like a flower kind of a thing all these things you will get in the uh, shops which uh, keep the supplies for uh, tassels and all these things embellishments okay now now see i want it to be firm i just can't keep it like this so to lock it what do i do i take a small bead you can take any bead because this will not be visible so i'm taking an old bead so you know it's more like you can say sustainable fashion as well because uh, you know you are reusing things and then you come back see i've come back so this is two threads so when i'm coming back it's becoming four threads so it's becoming extra secure okay now what you will do you have to push it otherwise it becomes loose i'm holding this thread i'm pushing this uh, inside bead inside and i'm holding it tight okay i'm pulling it i'm holding it tight and then i will pull this thread now it is nice and tight and now i will simply stitch it and it will get done stitching is normal stitch you just stitch it and then put a knot do it four five times three four times is also more than enough so that it is nice and secure okay here yeah. once it's done like before here yeah. so this part is done now let's proceed with the uh, rest of it for that uh, you know first i will uh, add this here and uh, in between i will be putting few things like beads and all that so let me show that to you so in between these two i am putting this big bead okay again very simple just uh, take the thread matching thread push the knot in take the bead put the thread through the bead take the uh, blue pillow cushion whatever you call it yeah and stitch it you know once you have done come back through the bead and onto the red cushion once it is done nice and tight it needs to be nice and uh, uh, tight you know you can lock it once you have locked it okay this much is done now we will do the flower sequence here the next part what i am going to do i have cut the dori into these uh, small small you know around 2 inches length so uh, we take one of this 
okay and uh, fold it into half right and then we put it right at the edge see here right at the edge fold it like this okay make sure that is folded properly yeah fold it here like this and then we'll put a stitch here okay so see i have already put a stitch i have already put a, a stitch in one of these okay so then what happens is once this is done i can just turn it see when i turn it it becomes like a small flower and then as i showed you need to just finish the edges with the with fire burn it off and then it becomes nice okay so this is what i am going to do with uh, all of these and make the entire bunch see i have done all of these in one go so that saves uh, time right so now we will proceed with the uh, next step i will turn all of these inside out and then we'll make the arrangement do the arrangement now this is the top one right so now what do we do first you arrange and see the longer one uh, that you are taking just arrange and see where you want it so this depth is okay okay i want to put three of them right so you put it like this the other one also okay you can check whether they are of same at the same depth so you adjust the depth how much deep you want it okay so here now this is the top part right so i want to stitch it here so now what you will do you just hold this it is here turn it inside out and put a stitch here okay so let me just quickly stitch this so you just put a stitch here just like we had done for these okay so here okay now what we will do you can burn the edges so i'll burn it later i'll show it to you first and then you again just like the previous one you turn this inside out okay so, so see nice beautiful see now beautiful tassel has got formed right now see these extra ones i'm cutting it off because uh, i will be attaching it with uh, beads and i will have a small uh, you know another bead for a cover so it will get hidden okay so see it's looking so beautiful this is how i have done uh, one more okay and uh, uh, then i will put it in the final tassel i have already attached one as you can see another one i am going to attach here so i am changing the design a bit and the third one i am going to attach here so this is how it's going to look finally i have just attached a small ring here through which i can pass the dori nothing much because it is anyways pretty uh, long so uh, that is what i am going to do the on this one also and then i will uh, uh, show it to you on the with the in the main reveal okay finally the latkan is complete entire tutorial of this latkan will be out on youtube next saturday okay so that is how we make uh, a latkan this was a pretty uh, you know uh, you can say uh, big uh, latkan and uh, the customer really loved it because she is uh, Uh, going for a marriage party so you know this is something very apt for uh, the um, 
occasion and uh, yeah if you liked the video do click on the like button subscribe to my channel and do comment in the comment box if uh, there is anything else that you would like to learn and if you are interested in fashion design if you want to set up your boutique without any degree and uh, minimal investment then um, uh, do join my webinar the link of the webinar is there uh, below the um, below this video in the description box so i'll see you again in the next video with a wonderful design see you next bye bye